This time on Rat and Cat, the search for missing caver Christopher Zitzowitz continues with the rest of the story about my unnerving experience in the big lava bed and a possible new clue. Welcome to Rat and Cat, where we search for those who have gone missing so others can learn how to survive. Last time on Rat and Cat, Jacob and I were on the first leg of a triangle-shaped search in the big lava bed, when something very strange happened. We were walking up parallel ridge features about 40 feet apart when I stepped on a soft spot in the ground. That's when I heard and felt a large rock fall beneath me. It happened so fast that I couldn't film it, and the ground where I stepped didn't visibly shift, so there's nothing really to see. I looked for something to recreate the exact sound, but didn't have much luck. This is the closest I've come to recreating it. Unlike this sample, what I heard was a single large rock falling and hitting another rock on a cliff face or something underground, then falling some more, and then hitting what sounded like the floor of a very large subterranean cavity with some minor clinking when it came to rest. I don't know how large the rock was, but I could feel the impact through the ground. I don't know how far the rock fell either, but it sounded like it fell for about two seconds. How fast a rock falls depends on its weight. A one to two second fall could be somewhere between 40 and 80 feet down. The rock made a very large booming sound. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe the space was as big as Falls Creek Cave or Big Cave. But I wasn't prepared for that kind of explore, and I doubt someone could access the space without heavy equipment, so I marked the GPS location and moved on. Still, this is the very reason why I don't want to explore the area on my own, and it makes me wonder, did some feature like this swallow Christopher Zitzowitz? Okay, we've made it about halfway to the volcano and just running out of time here. So uh, we're gonna head east basically, just kind of downhill and head that way for a half hour or, or so and then head back. Uh, we're getting up into a lot bushier terrain up here, uh, more scrub brush and huckleberry and mosquitoes. But absolutely not a sign of humans other than uh, a group of mylar balloons that were spread out about over, a, I don't know, 100 feet or so. Other than that, we haven't seen a thing. And that's nice. We got a bit of a cave down here. It kind of looks to me like something's been going in there, but I am going to check it out. So if you hear screams, will you come in after me? Yes, he says. I don't know if I can fit in here. Okay. Well, this just isn't any fun. So it doesn't go back as far as I thought. Still, pretty big shelter. If somebody wanted to try to crawl out of the rain. Into the cold, oh, my head is stuck. There we go, ow. Yeah, it just kind of goes around to sink a collapsed vent.
north that way? Yep. Okay, so you want to go that way then? Wait, northwest? Wait, what do you have? North is being that way. No, yeah, I wanted to go northeast, didn't I? I wanted to go northeast. I threw you said northwest. I, might, I probably did. Because yeah. we went southeast. That's why I thought you went. Because we were going to go directly east, but then I wanted to head part way back. So really what okay. I want to do, I might have said something different, but really, uh, yeah. I want to be kind of headed in the same direction back. But okay. Northeast is what I meant to say. We're on the last leg of our triangle. We're headed back to our starting point. Came down the mountainside from the volcano. Oh, right behind us there. And uh, came through some kind of neat formations. These are, uh, we're going through a giant field of clinkers here. Haven't seen a thing. We've just been going on mostly off of, uh, yeah, all off of compass for direction on the way back. So about to check to the GPS and see how close we are. Yeah, we are headed directly north and then northeast and I wanted to head, start heading back. We should have started heading northwest, but instead of going that way, I continued northeast. And so we've been headed that way for some time. Jacob very politely tried to remind me that we want to be going northwest, but I just uh, didn't get the hint. So we went a little, it's not bad. We just recovering more, a little bit more territory than I'd hoped today or I don't know a little off course that's okay Alright, found a water bottle out here. I don't know if this means anything, but I'm going to mark it on the GPS. My compass is reading wrong. This is not right here. It, it was accurate on the way up, pretty much, but what does yours say? All right, so I just showed you my compass, which I'm gonna get a lot of flack for because it's a, it's just a bubble compass. I have another compass that I usually use and it was supposed to be in my pack. I thought it was, but it wasn't. So I'm using a bubble compass. Sorry, folks. Uh, but it's showing us the right direction. I was getting off back there. I thought I was headed in the right direction. And the compass looked totally off to me, but we're headed, we're supposed to be headed northwest and it looked like we were headed southwest to me back there, but I don't know, 
you look in the forest in any direction here, it's just forest and the sun's back here. So that should be about midday. South is that way. Anyhow, easy to get confused. I'd, I really want to come back here and do kind of a search around that area. See if there's any more items that I can find. It's very likely just somebody dropped a water bottle. But it'd be good to check. One reason I might have lost my sense of direction here was because I stopped to take a lot of video. It's one reason search and rescue teams have one person on the team focus on navigation while the others simply search. We made it back here to the rig safe and sound and we found mylar balloons and a water bottle. I want to go check around that water bottle just to see if I can find anything else some other time. Uh, it's probably nothing, but I might as well check it out. I got a little off track, like I said earlier, and I didn't trust my compass. Uh, we were also just going off the compass. We were headed a little bit too far east uh, and needed to be headed more in a northerly northwest direction to get back to the rig. So double checked with the, the GPS on that and we are back and ready to go. So uh, my lesson of the day is uh, trust my compass. You know, and you hear a lot of myths about compasses being off in the lava beds, and maybe people are experiencing that, but I've never, other than some GPS interference and not being able to calibrate my watch completely, it still functioned and I've still been able to find the direction every time. So uh, I, but I could see if you were lost and confused or a little scared, uh, you might think it was off, but trust your compass. What's next on Rat and Cat? Uh, we'll be following up on the Austin Oldfield case, some more outdoor updates, outdoor how-tos, and other stuff that I can't think of right now, so I just am gonna stop talking. Thank you.